Up next, the 200 free. Blake Peroni, there he is. He set the records in this one, leading off the 800 free relay on day one of this event here in Minneapolis. For the two-time defending champion, Townley Haas, front and center in lane number four, and he won the 500 free for his third individual NCAA title earlier in this meet. Yeah, I, I like those two guys to be at the top here, Haas and Peroni. Top four returned from last year. So if Ferris, my dark horse in all of this, he would be an amazing champ if he could pull it off of Harvard in the Ivy League. But I still think Haas and Peroni are the favorites. Dean Ferris, the last Ivy League NCAA champ in any event was Chris Swanson of Penn in the 1652 years ago. The last Ivy League champ in the 200 free. Legendary Olympian Don Scholander of Yale 50 years ago in 1968. And Ferris, by the way, is the fourth fastest swimmer in history in this. So he's a dark horse, but he's legit. Yeah, he is legitimate. Just a sophomore. You've got the junior in Haas. And you've got Dylan Carter of Southern Cal in lane three, the third fastest swimmer in history in this event. In fact, the 10 fastest times in history are represented in this final. Unbelievable. Okay, good luck. to the pool. The record, if you're interested, as you said, 129.6. Maroney set that. A couple of days ago, he went 43.5 on the way out. Had a lot of speed, 20.8 on the feet, the first 50. Peroni and Carter tied for second behind Townley Haas. Haas has wasted no time, 20.6 going out. He was 130.4 a couple of nights ago leading off Texas's relay, so he was about eight-tenths of a second behind Peroni. Peroni's got to get out there. He cannot wait and come back on this field. He's in lane number six right now, doing a pretty good job. But boy, what a way to go out. 43-1 going out, almost a half a second ahead of record pace. Well, Townley Haas of Texas in lane number four, about boy, two and a half lengths to go. He is blowing away this field right now. Peroni trying to do everything he can to keep in and to stay in it. Zach Apple sandwich in between it from Auburn, the junior, trying to hang tough as well, but Haas has just built too big of a lead. It's Townley Haas in lane four, and Blake Peroni of Indiana in lane number six. Haas trying to win it for the third straight year. 129.63. He did it! By 13 one-hundredths. He took it back. Blake Peroni had grabbed the record on day one, leading off the 800 freestyle relay, and now Haas gets the records back. Uh, disappointment for Blake Peroni, but he's got nothing to hang his head about. He's had two spectacular 200 freestyles, but Texas rules this one. Wow! Holy smokes! 129. Again, let that sink in. 129.5 fastest time in history. That's the break right there. That's the back breaker. 43-1. Peroni doing what he could to stay out there with him, but he just couldn't have the speed that Haas is. And that's a little surprising because I think Peroni probably has a little bit more speed in the 100-yard freestyle here than Townley Haas, but Haas was not afraid to take it out. He has become so race tough. He knows exactly where he's at in all the races. He finishes strong, good strong second place finish, and Apple finishing third, but boy, Townley Haas, 129.5. Isn't that something, Rowdy? He had set the NCAA and American records back in 2016 of the NCAA championships and held them until Blake Peroni broke it on day one of this meet. But Haas grabs it back, and Peroni, for his work here in the final, had the second, the, the third fastest time in history. And Zach Apple, who finished third, had his personal best by more than one second. And Townley is downstairs with Danielle. That's right, Rich. Townley, we saw the emotion in the pool. What was going through your mind when you looked up and saw that record time? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, you know, I just, 
I wanted to get out there and go fast for uh, for my team and for my boys over there. So that's what I was trying to do. Three straight years. What sets you apart? You own this event. <sighs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess just hard work. You know, uh, Blake uh, Blake went out on one night, Wednesday night, and you know broke my record, and that just kind of got me fired up to uh, to come back and beat beat him again. <laughs> It certainly showed tonight. You did it. Congratulations. Thank you. Fired up indeed. Donley Haas wins it for the.